What's next after CSI? An introduction to object storage for Kubernetes uh, and moving beyond file and block storage. Hello everyone, my name is Krish and I'm a software engineer at Red Hat. Uh, so today we're going to be discussing a few main topics, starting off with a brief introduction to object storage, uh, then an overview of CSI and Kubernetes, followed by the need for Cozy and the Cozy architecture. Uh, so what is object storage? Uh, in object storage, data is broken up into small discrete units known as objects, which are then uh, stored in a flat architecture. Uh, data can be accessed through simple network APIs. Uh, and we organize these objects into uh, logical containers commonly known as buckets. This is an extremely cost efficient and scalable way to store large quantities of data while maintaining quick access. And so what's the use case? Uh, as I mentioned, it is a network-focused, software-defined storage design, and so this makes it very flexible. Uh, and so object storage is well-suited for static data, always connected mobile devices, uh, deep learning, and uh, analysis. Uh, we can enforce more granular permissions on these buckets through bucket policies and namespacing. However, one challenge is that there's no definitive protocol for consumption and creation of objects or buckets. And so what's the role of CSI? Uh, well, CSI uh, provides a platform to expose block and file storage systems. Uh, prior to CSI, connecting to new volume plugins uh, was a core part of Kubernetes. Uh, but CSI allowed vendors to move this logic into separate drivers. And so some popular CSI drivers today expose Amazon EBS, Ceph, or Google Cloud Store. And so this meant more options for storage, and it made core Kubernetes more secure and reliable. So what are the core concepts in CSI? Uh, well, first, there's the storage class, which is how Kubernetes admins define different classes of storage. This is followed by persistent volumes, which are pieces of storage that are provisioned statically by an admin or dynamically through a storage class. Lastly, we have persistent volumes, which are requests for access to storage by a user. And so PVCs consume PV resources, and they specify the size and access mode. So where does Cozy fit in? So in, in Cozy, there's six main terms that are used. There's the bucket class, the bucket request, the bucket, the bucket access class, the bucket access, and the bucket access request. And so we can draw some comparisons between Cozy and CSI. Uh, where Cozy has a bucket class, CSI defines a storage class. Uh, a bucket is very similar to a persistent volume. Uh, and a bucket request and bucket access request together uh, kind of mimic a persistent volume claim. And so Cozy emphasizes the granularity of bucket access policies through bucket access classes, uh, bucket accesses, and bucket access requests. CSI, on the other hand, has less granular access policies and instead allows for predefined access modes of read-write once, read-only many, and read-write many. Um, so the architecture of Cozy um, essentially has four main components. There's the Cozy Central Controller, the Cozy Sidecar Controller, uh, the Cozy Node Adapter, and lastly, the Vendor Provisioner. Uh, and so the Vendor Provisioner uh, communicates with the Sidecar through gRPC, uh, and the Sidecar is uh, Kubernetes aware. And so on the right, you can see the relationship between some of the different objects. So a bucket request uh, references the bucket class, uh, and a bucket access request references a bucket access class. Um, so here's an example of a sample workflow, uh, a, a simple workflow for creating a bucket. So first things first, the admin would define a bucket class. This would be followed by the user creating a bucket request at some later time. Uh, the central controller would notice the bucket request and it would create uh, a bucket resource. Uh, the sidecar, upon noticing the bucket, uh, will call the create bucket gRPC call. Uh, and the vendor provisioner, in, in turn, will create the backing bucket. And so, although not pictured, the node adapter would be responsible for the final step of mounting the secret onto the pod. So that's all for this presentation. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, if you want to get involved with the Cozy project, check out the Six Storage Cozy Slack channel uh, in the Kubernetes Slack or join the weekly meetings uh, on Thursdays at 6 p.m. GMT. Thank you.